Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the next part of this video tutorial where we are going to be creating an AR business card. So that is augmented reality business card. So if, if you scan this image using Zappar, Z-A-P-P-A-R, you can find the link below for a free scanner. You will be able to get a really fun augmented reality effect. And I'm going to be teaching you the second part on how to create this really cool look. We've already build the business card in Photoshop. We implemented After Effects to create a video. So here's the video. Really simple and small. And now we are ready to implement it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back into Zapworks. So you should have already downloaded your trigger and implemented it into your image. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Designer. And I already have this image, but I'm gonna Go ahead and delete it because what I really want is to Im import my video. So over here to the right, we have a couple of options and one of them is called video. So let's go ahead and click on video and whoops. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Let's go ahead and grab your file and upload. Now, depending on the speed of your internet and everything like that, it might take a few minutes, seconds, whatever it is. So just give yourself a little bit of patience as it imports the video and there it is. Looking very small, but that's okay. I can always scale it by grabbing those little icons. Now I'm gonna make it fairly large. I want it bigger than my business card. So it's gonna look like something like this. All right, cool. So now down here, we have some options. We have a video. Um, I do want it to play it from the start, but I do not want it to loop. So I'm gonna turn that off. I do wanna hide the controls because I don't want people to start pausing or playing. I just want the animation to start and move on. And I'm not interested in um, allowing save to save the video. I don't see why it, why it would do that. And looks like that's basically it. So the next part is where does it go from here? Well, I'm interested in creating some interactive elements so that I over here to the top left, we have scene one. I'm going to click on this one, which will create scene two. Scene two is going to be what's going to happen next, which is all my buttons are going to be there. I'm going to go to images and I already have imported these images. So I'm going to click on this one, move it to the side if I want to, grab this one, move that one to the side, and of course this one. Great. Now there's one thing I'm missing, which is my background element. And I need to go to After Effects. So we want the last frame of the video to be like this. And in scene two, we want it to look like this as well, but without the buttons. We don't want the buttons there because they, we, we are importing our own buttons so that they can be interactive. So I'm gonna hide my buttons by clicking on those little eyeballs to the left. And then we just need to export this one image. So I'm gonna go to Composition, same free pass. Go to file and in our render queue, we have current settings, which I like Photoshop file is fine. And then I'm going to click on this. I'm going to call this my still image AE, which means like it's from After Effects. I already had one before because I, I have done this exercise before, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And then don't forget to hit that little render button. Should be really fast. And now we have a Photoshop file called still image and let's open it up. Now I'm sure that After Effects can do a JPEG image, but I haven't spent any time looking at it because this takes me only seconds. But if you guys know how, feel free to make leave a comment below as to how After Effects can render a JPEG. So I've got my still image, JPEG, save. And let's hop into Zapworks. All right, so I have my three buttons already here. Let's go ahead and add an image. I'm gonna add my still image. And there it is. Let's go ahead and make it really big. Something like this, maybe. Cool. And then I'm gonna say send backwards, or you can go send to the back. So I can kind of play around with this. Now our goal is to look like the ending of this. So I wanna make sure this is in the right place. So the first one is going to be info then the play button and then the mail. So inflow, play button and mail, these things are huge. So I'm gonna see if I can grab them all and scale uniformly, whoa. Okay, let's try that again. Scale them uniformly, move this back into place. I might wanna lock it. So I'm gonna click on here, which will lock it. 
Then I can grab these guys and kind of move them into place. And again, you might want to grab these and scale uniformly. Now, there is a grid, if you guys are interested, which will help um, align. They don't have like a nice aligning button, but at least this will help you make sure that these guys are aligned relatively to them to each other. So again, your goal is to try to get it to match with the video. Let me take a look. I think I'm getting pretty close. Just want to make sure everything's kind of aligned. I'm not being too picky. Something like that. Does this look straight to you guys? Maybe. Yeah, it looks okay. Maybe this can be nudged a little lower. Come on. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, cool. Turn off the grid. Um, so now that I have my buttons here, next thing I wanted to do is to do something when I click on these buttons. So for example, for my YouTube channel, I or for this play button, I wanted to do something. I wanted to um, go to YouTube. So over here, we can go to actions. And right now on tap, it says nothing. So the pull down menu, there is a, um, it says go to scene or link to, and that's the one I want. So let me find my YouTube channel. Here's my YouTube channel. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And then I'm gonna paste it and say, open an external browser. For this one is going to be a mail. So actions, we're gonna compose an email. And I'm going to write in my email, which is academicphoenixplus at gmail.com. So whenever somebody clicks on that, it will immediately send an email. And then I can just write ER email colon and then or AR email. So therefore, I know that this is from the AR app. They, of course, can edit that if they want to by just letting them know that that would be pretty cool. And finally, this little guy. So this little guy is a button, but I wanted to go and do extra information. So to do that, I'm going to need a third scene. And this third scene is going to be my information. So for example, I can grab a text box and I can say over here, there's a text button or input window. And I can say, hi, I'm Monica, AKA academic, Phoenix plus and I might put this like this so it's a little bit more and then I can align it to the left and what's cool about appearance is that I can change the appearance so if I wanted to I can choose an appearance here there's a couple of options that you can choose from I'm gonna choose the rounded and let's change the color I'm gonna try to scroll down a little bit more and unfortunately I can't really see the window, which I think it's part of the UI issue, but I'm gonna to try to choose one of those dark reds that are similar to like the theme of my card. Then I'm gonna go back into properties and change the text to more white. So it's easier to read. And if I wanted to under appearance, I can change the border size. So it's a little tighter and closer if you like, and then place it wherever you want. I'm going to go to image. Okay, so now I'm uploading a picture of me and I just wanted to let you know that it does accept transparency, so it will accept PNGs. So if you're interested in uploading an image that uh, doesn't have any edges, then feel free to use a PNG. And there we go, I have my image in there. So I'm going to minimize this a little bit and then I'm going to add some text. Now the text can be, of course, anything you want. I have a web academicphoenixplus.com and I have a tiny, I have an about page. And in this about page, I explain who I am. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm Monica, AKA Academic Phoenix Plus, and I'm an artist, art director and teacher. So I'm gonna copy that and paste. It might be easier if I paste in here. There we go. Press enter, let's see. Cool. All right. So how do we put all of this together? So let's go back to scene one. So once the movie is done, so select it, I want it to have an action and that action is to go to scene two. So in, um, and by the way, if you want to, you can change your name. So scene one can be home. So this would be the, or the intro video. 
Uh, scene two can be the buttons. So it's up to you what you want to call it. I'm just calling it buttons. And then three can be info. And of course, you are more than welcome to add more and more and more. So in my intro video, when I click on it, again, maybe you might want to make it larger. In actions, we wanted to go to a scene and the scene is going to be buttons. Perfect. If you want to transition, you're more than welcome. Again, I like slide left and leave slide left. So it's just my preference. Of course, you're more than welcome to choose anything you want, but uh, that's kind of nice in my opinion. So when this video is done, it will go to buttons. When you click on this button, it will go to YouTube. This will go to the mail and this one needs to go to a scene. So again, actions, I'm going to go choose, go to scene and this one's going to be uh, info. Now, what happens when they go to info? Well, uh, they might actually be stuck. There's no way for them to go back. So lucky for us, uh, Zapworks creates buttons for us. So I'm going to make a button here. I don't have to build everything in um, Photoshop. Okay, grab the button. All right, great. All right, so let's change. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to call this back. B A C K, and then in my actions, I'm going to ch tell it to go to scene, and I'm going to go back to the buttons. Um, let's go to appearance. I'm not a fan of that color, so if you guys want to, you can change it to anything you want. Um, I may choose something kind of limited. I don't know why I can't see. I'm going to try to do. Let's see if I can. There we go. Let's see if that works. I just minimized. I just made my scene smaller. Ah, uh, there we go, that's better. Okay, let's go ahead and click on back. What do you guys think? Blue looks good. Uh, let's change my border to be smaller and this looks huge. I'm gonna minimize it. So when somebody is ready to hit back, it go back to that main page. Now I'm gonna change a couple of things here, maybe lift this up a little bit better. Hopefully things are aligned and ready to rock and roll. And I think we are set. We have our intro video, we have our buttons and we have our info. All right, let's go ahead and publish this. So I'm gonna click on publish. Now I do have my image. So the idea is that this is my, the source image. So people should be able to scan it and be able to see it. So let's take a look. There is the business card and let's go ahead and scan it with Zapar. There goes the animation. And there we go. Now I'm gonna to attempt to click on this with only one hand, which is gonna be hard. There is, oh my gosh, there's my info. It works, I'm sorry, this is terrible because I can't coordinate two fingers at once. It looks like back, there we go. And if I click on this, oh geez, this play button, it will take me to YouTube, to my channel. And believe me, the email works as well. And there you go, everybody. That is how you create a really cool looking AR business card. So it just takes it to the next level. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a great deal. We covered a lot of things, Photoshop, layers, After Effects, and of course, Zapworks to create an AR business card. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, again, don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and uh, sign up for my newsletter. And also, uh, you can take a look at all the free things that I provide for you, including free ebooks, free tutorials, free downloads, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com and subscribe and share. That would be amazing if you can share these type of videos with your friends or anybody that you think will find helpful. So thank you again for watching. I hope you had uh, a nice time. I would love to see your work. So if you guys uh, upload your AR business cards and want to share with me, feel free to tag me in social media. I'm in Instagram. I'm in Twitter. I'm in all over the place. So feel free. I would love to connect with you via social. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.